Okay. Well, if he doesn't, he, maybe you should tell him about my YouTube videos. You know, and I'd be willing to talk to him as well. to ask? Um, a little bit of both. Go ahead. Okay, so me and my girlfriend just had a baby and um, less than two months ago, and the baby was born allegedly in chastity, um, no coning, and it tested positive for methamphetamine and weed. And she tested positive for weed, but then they came and they took the, the baby got transferred to Valley Children's Hospital and in Valley Children's Hospital it was, he was there and then taken from Valley Children's Hospital by CPS and then we are going on the, barely the third court date and the first court date they just did the, the Indian welfare hearing thing to find out if he was Indian or not or if there's going to be Indian tribe um, involved and, there was, and then in the second court date, there was no CPS report in the second court date. And then we're going on to the third court date now. And I'm just wondering, like, you know, because they, they tried to get my girlfriend to sign for them to get her medical records and all that stuff, you know. And me being me, I know my rights. And I went and... I got her medical records because it said all of it that she had limited prenatal visits. And then so I went and got her medical records and I gave the CPS worker myself all the all the, the first page of medical records that say the that says the dates on them. And there were sixteen of them. And then also they had an allegation that um, we had limited provisions for our baby. And then so I provided all the baby shower pictures, pictures of all the brand new stuff that we have, and then and stuff like that. And then this one was before the second court date. And then on the second court date, there was no CPS report. I'm just wondering, like, where is this going to go? Well, you know, these kinds of cases are very fact-specific. Are there any allegations against you, Brian, or just against the mother? Um, no, they, they, they say that, um, we have domestic violence, but we don't fight, argue, there's nothing, like, they just, I don't know where that came from, but I have no domestic violence on my record, so there's nothing, like, well, Brian, this is, this is what I want you to do. I want you, number one, to write down my phone number, triple eight triple eight six five eight two. I want you to call and... Hello. I want you to call and make an appointment with me, call after the show, and we'll talk next week. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some tips, tricks, and things to do and not do. But everything that I tell you, I want you to run by your attorney, okay? Because technically, okay. I'm, I'm not your attorney in this case. I'm a attorney, but your attorney in this yeah. case will know better because he or she will have more of the facts and more of the know more of the politics of that particular county and that particular courthouse and that particular, you know, the, the other attorneys and the judges and the social worker and everything. Okay, so don't, yeah. don't leave out your attorney, all right? I'm just going to give you some additional information that you must check with your attorney, okay? So call 888-888-6582, 888 and I'll give you a free consultation on your case. Brian, I want to thank you for calling. Thank you for listening. Uh, and, you know, call in about two or three weeks and give us an update on your case and see how Can things are going. Okay, Brian? I have, one, I have one more, just one more question. Go ahead. Okay. Um, see, the thing is, is cause I, I watch your YouTube videos and everything, you know, stuff like that. And, like, and like I, I told my attorney, my court, court appointed attorney, you know, about the objections and corrections to the CPS case workers um, report. And you said that you don't know nothing about that. Okay, well, if he doesn't, he, maybe you should tell him about my YouTube videos.
you know, and I'd be willing to talk to him as well. Brian, I've got to let you go. got to take a uh, break here. This is The Secret, How to Fight CPS and Win. We'll be right back with more calls, more questions, and more stories. Mm-hmm. 